So in this video, which is the second out of three videos on the Gen AI activities for UiPath Studio Desktop, I'm going to show you how to actually use some of these activities. Let's get to it. Okay, so these activities are different from other activities in Studio in that you cannot just add them using Package Manager. You have to also uh, create a connection to them inside of Integration Service and Orchestrator. And I showed you how to do that in the first of these three videos. If you missed that video, you can click somewhere up here. There's a link popping up now, and you can also find a link to it in the description below this video. Also, if you like my channel, make sure you subscribe by hitting the little red watermark down here somewhere and give the video a thumbs up if you like the video and hit the notification bell. And that's all I have to say now. So let's get back to uh, building some automations. Inside of Studio, we have a blank uh, project as usual. So what we're going to do in our automation is we're going to ask the user for a small piece of text. We're going to detect what language is that text. We're going to translate the text. Then we're going to rewrite the text using a certain tone of voice. And then we're also going to summarize the text. And we're going to do that in one quick automation. So let's uh, jump into Studio again. So here we have it again, the empty project. If I search for, uh, we'll first go for an input dialog. We'll drag that in and uh, we'll just put in here, please enter some text. It's going to be a text box and the value entered, we're going to save in a variable and I'll press control K, my favorite shortcut, because that creates a new variable whenever we type a name. So control K and then type in my text. And now if we go to the variables pane, we can see that we have a new my text variable. Then we're going to uh, go up here, type in Gen AI. We are going to take the language detection activity, drag that in. And what we can see is that the uh, language detection activity has already detected that we have a Gen AI activities connection inside of um, integration service. And then we will input what text is it we want to detect the language of. That is going to be the my text variable. And in the uh, properties panel, we're going to uh, create a new variable for the detected language property. Again, press Control K and we'll type in my detected language and press enter. Then we are going to do a uh, message box and then drag that in. And what we're going to show is of course, the my detected language uh, variable. There we go. Now we're going to go back to the Gen AI activities. We're going to take the translate activity wait for it to make that uh, connection to the integration service. Then we're going to select the text that we want to translate. That was the my text. And we want to translate it into, let's say English. So I'll type in something Danish and it can try and translate that. The translated text we want to save into a variable. I will press again, control K, favorite shortcut. Um, my translated text. Hit enter, and now I'll just copy this message box and paste it in. And then instead of showing my detected language, I want to show my translated text. Then we're going to rewrite that text. So what we want to have rewritten is the my translated text variable content. And then we can put in the rewrite instructions. And I'll just put in uh, informal polite tone directed at close friends. So this is basically an instruction to the model. What kind of tone of voice should it uh, rewrite this content in? I could put in, you know, rude as hell or something like that. I'm not going to do that, but but I could. Also in the rewrite uh, activity, we can set a creativity uh, level. And that is between zero and one. I'll just put it in one 
uh, 0 0.9, so it's going to be quite creative. And the total words I'm going to put at 150. That'll give it some room to, to sort of maneuver and, and rewrite uh, some content. And then the rewritten text, of course, we want to save in a variable as well. My rewritten text, like that. And then we're going to paste in another uh, message box that will show my rewritten text. Finally, we're going to use the summarize text. And this is slightly different from uh, rewriting text in that we cannot give it this instruction that we did before in the polite tone and all of that. What we can do is we can, of course, say what text is it we want to uh, summarize. That is my rewritten text. We want to reduce it to, let's say, 12 words. See how that goes. And of course, the output we want to save into another variable. We'll create one called my summarized text. And then again, we will paste in a message box so that we can uh, see what um, the summarized text actually is. Like that. That's it. That's our entire automation. Let's see if it works. So I'm just going to hit uh, debug up here. The first thing we should see should be an input a dialog. And this is, uh, you know, please enter some text. And then I'll put in Danish. I have day if you're not Danish, you won't understand this, but it's going to translate it in just a second. So let's uh, click the OK button and see if it detects that this is actually Danish. And it does. The next message box we should see is that same text translated from Danish into English. Let's see if that works. It's my birthday and I have cold draft beer drop by. Cheers, Jeppe. It's not my birthday and I don't have any cold beer, so please, <laughs> please don't drop by. Well, you can, but yeah. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to rewrite this text uh, using a creative, polite, informal tone of voice. So let's uh, click OK and see what it does. Hey, everyone, just wanted to let you know it's my birthday and I've got some cold draft beer ready to go. Would love for you guys to come over and celebrate with me. Cheers, Jeppe. So it rewrote that very short statement that I put in in the dialog box to something a little bit more elaborate. So we'll click OK, and now it's going to summarize this text into something 12 words or less. Let's see if it does that. Jeppe invites friends to celebrate his birthday with cold draft beer. So it works. It really does. And these are just the four first activities of that activity pack that I wanted to show you. In the next one, we're going to look at PII filtering. We're going to look at generating email and some other stuff. I forgot, honestly. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a big, big difference. And subscribe. You know, Click that red thing down there if you like my channel. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video.